Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving me leave to make just a brief intervention um, on this very important motion. I think the motion proposed by the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Development, and Youth Economy, Justice, and National Security to this Honorable House is as follows. Be it resolved that the House, by affirmative resolution, approves the value-added tax, alteration rate of interest order, which alters the rate of interest on the tax paid up to the financial year of 2021 during the period commencing from the first day of May 2023 and terminating on the first day of May 2024 to 0% of the tax paid. Mr. Speaker, in his budget policy statement for fiscal year 2023-2024, the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance informed this Honorable House that 3,169 taxpayers owed $600 million in taxes, fines, penalties, and interest. He further advised, Mr. Speaker, that in the majority of cases, these taxes have been collected on behalf of employees and the government of St. Lucia. Mr. Speaker, we were informed that a total of 175 million in VAT, unrelated penalties and interest are due on value-added tax deductions. I am sure that we will all agree with the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance that government should strengthen its ability to collect these taxes as it hinders government's ability to meet its own commitments. And as you know, Mr. Speaker, we are not in ordinary times. The Prime Minister and Minister for Finance took over this country whilst we were still grappling with the objective reality of COVID. And he, whilst presiding over the orderly recovery of the economy, we are yet to get back to pre-COVID GDP levels. As we were trying to plan the post-COVID trajectory, in comes the war in Ukraine, Mr. Speaker, that drove up the prices of, of oil, and of course, interest rates and the inflationary pressures, Mr. Speaker. So therefore, in an effort to ensure the continued prudent management of the economy and to encourage taxpayers to settle their taxes, the Minister for Finance proposed that for the following categories of taxes, namely hotel accommodation tax, pay as you earn, hotel accommodation tax, all inclusives, other withholding taxes and value-added tax, the waiver of all penalties, interest, and fines if the taxes are paid by May 1st, 2024. This resolution, Mr. Speaker, provides for the rate of interest payable on the tax paid up to the financial year of 2021 during the period commencing from the first day of May 2023 and terminating on the first day of May 2024 to 0% of the tax paid. This, in effect, provides a waiver of the interest on the value added tax. This is consistent, Mr. Speaker, with the general policy pronounced by the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance on extending the waiver of interest, penalties, and fines on taxes up to May 1st, 2024. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, it's very easy for anybody including a Martian to agree that we need to support this motion, support the Prime Minister as he continues to put our national house in order to continue to deliver to the people of this country in keeping with our manifesto promise to put people first. And no doubt, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is on course. And of course, during this year, when we return to this honorable house during budget time, we shall have a tremendous success 
in putting back this economy on track because we all know that a stable macroeconomic framework is necessary to address the pressing but legitimate needs of the people of this country. And so I commend um, the Prime Minister for presenting this motion and I give my fullest support, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.